Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelley and today it's a little project audiobook. Think it in, think it blah 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 blah. I don't know what I'm saying. So this video might very well be a rambling of absolutely nothing. But yeah, that is usually my videos, I'm not gonna lie. That's just my whole personality. So, <laughs> so to continue on with my little project audiobook, I listened to the four books that are comprised in the Divergence series, I suppose, by Veronica M Moth, Veronica Roth. Wow. Okay. Um, so we have Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, which is technically the third and last book, but there is also a short novella collection called Four. And yes, I did listen to all of them because once I got started, I just couldn't seem to stop. Now, I guess this is a series I have a kind of love-hate relationship to in general. I have read and reread it a couple of times before I listened to it on audio. Um, I have seen the movies a couple of times, except the third one because I've only seen that once because it kind of pisses me off. Pisses me off more than the third book does. So there's that. Now. <laughs> So di the whole Divergent series is basically about this dystopian, futuristic world. Well, it's all based in Chicago, so futuristic, divergent, divergent, futuristic, dystopian, Chicago. Yeah, let's go with that. And we mainly follow Triss and then also um, Thor a bit. Triss is the main voice of reason. She doesn't, she's not a voice of reason. Why did I use those words? Well, Divergent is basically a series in, about a society divided up in factions. And then a girl who doesn't really fit into any of them. I mean, the moral force of the books lie in the constant reminder that you should always, under all circumstances, make decisions for yourself and not, you know, let society dictate what you think and do. So the five factions are based on personality, virtue and strength. Each group possesses certain qualities they mutually value and excel at. The factions are called abnegation the selfless, erudite, the intellectuals, dauntless, the brave, candor, the honest, and amity, meaning peaceful. So Beatrice, or Triss, as we get to know her more as, she is born into abnegation, but she's like, she doesn't fit in. She's far from selfless, she's strong-willed and hard-headed and and all that. When she receives this result for her aptitude test, she learns that she is divergent, meaning she doesn't really fit into any of the factions that they know. Which in turn, when it's her choosing day, means she kinda chooses a different faction to the one she's grown up in, to the one her parents are certain she will choose and everyone else basically, because apparently you just, go that way, you very rarely leave abnegation. <laughs> I've always kind of liked the action-paced easiness of the books, um, but there are certain things I think the movies did better than the written page. Um, which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> it just means the movie improved on the book a bit. And I know, like, a lot of people refuses to read the third book because it's the hate object of everyone. Basically, most people hate the third book because of how it ends. Because it's it doesn't end the way you think the series sh should end or would end if it had been a different series. 
Um, I mean, it makes sense, the ending, but also, I think they could have solved it by communicating. <laughs> yeah, more communication maybe would have sorted that ending out, but yeah, that's just, just my opinion. <laughs> but it does kind of work for the kind of characters and um, the way the story progresses from book one and onwards. So, yes, um, it doesn't mean I like it, but I get it. This isn't a review of the books, so this is just me rambling on because that's what I do. Um, so, my opinion of the audiobooks. Well, they were very quickly finished. I, I don't think I have a big opinion about them, to be honest. I think I would still prefer reading the books rather than listening to them, but I didn't really find any fault in the audio narration. Um, I, I wasn't particularly fond of the male person. <laughs> I wasn't fond of the guy who narrates uh, Ford's perspective, but that's just, uh, like, that's just, I don't know. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't up to what I wanted to hear. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I kind of always picture for as Theo James, so, you know. It wasn't bad, but I wouldn't listen to it again. <laughs> um, I would much rather like just read them physically if I were to reread them which I probably will at some point just not anytime soon I guess so yeah that was my weird rambling of my experience of the audiobooks for Divergent it wasn't bad but it wasn't great either Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.